I think the basic thing, one of the basic social actions that needs to be taken is to provide job opportunities for the millions of youth who are finding difficulties making a living. If you don't have an army of unemployed people, you will not have people ready to expose themselves to actions that are the illegal refining. Illegal refining is extremely dangerous for those who practice it. The young people born in the crude, uh, I can assure you they will they, they don't have the prospect of living long to enjoy the proceeds of the hazardous job they expose themselves to. The big bosses who stay in the cities who stay where far away from River State from Niger Delta may be having a good time. But the young the foot soldiers in the in the forest, in the in the swamp who are carrying out these activities are more or less sentenced to uh, to death or to very serious diseases. So job creation. Apart from that Letting the people know the massive education of the people about the danger of food, danger of food to the health. But first of all, let government show leadership, provide the job, stop gas flaring for God's sake. This, there's no suggestion that this can be addressed by modular refiners. Mm. But when it comes to modular, modular refiners, I believe that the emphasis should be on our research institutions fabricating those refineries. Uh, we, we doing the civil war. Uh, in the eastern part of the nation, uh, crude oil was being refined, not not with the uh, imported refineries, but by by with using local technology. Some years back, Amarabella University announced that they had fabricated a refinery, uh, and, and that was in the media. So Nigerians have the capacity to produce refineries, to make these modular refineries that can be affordable by collectives or cooperatives of those who are currently engaged in this kind of activities and those who have abandoned their business for have the knowledge and the capacity to do it. Uh, but when you say modular refineries, the, the ones imported from maybe South Korea or wherever, the cost is still far above what these guys can afford. Mm. And so the illegal, illegal refining would not stop by bringing in imported modular refineries. So that's for the federal government. Well, uh, that, that, of course, that's, the federal government has a big part to play in all this, in terms of, uh, because they control the petroleum sector uh, and and and, the, uh, and that level of the impact from that. Uh, and so the federal government has a lot to do. They, they should, the federal institutions, or the, the state institutions, the universities, should be brought into this play. And then, of course, the state government has, state government in the, in the region, have a role to play too by providing jobs and by talking to the youth talking to the young people who are involved in this and, and getting a buy-in. But when you want to be, you're going to get a buy-in when people have alternatives. And uh, I know it's difficult in the United States. They can't can fish, they can't farm, but then not everywhere is totally lost. So they still hope that ways we can bring in some work with nature to aid the recovery of nature.